Hello there. Today we are going to we are going to talk about uh, one of the most important topic of chemistry that is combustion. So what is combustion? Combustion is a chemical process in which a substance reacts rapidly with oxygen and gives off heat. Combustion refers to burning. If we look at our daily life, we burn different kinds of things. What are these? We burn LPG gas, wood or coal to, to make food or to heat our room. We Sometimes we burn large pieces of papers if it's not necessary and sometimes we burn uh, different kinds of gas like methane gas for our daily necessity. So combustion actually means burning something and it, it is a chemical reaction which can produce a lot of heat energy with light or maybe with sound. So combustion refers to the rapid oxidation result which where a large amount of heat is produced. So the substance that undergoes combustion is said to be combustible substance. We refer this uh, as a fuel. So there are some substance if we see in our daily life that can be burned so easily. And there are some substance that we can't burn so easily. Think about a piece of paper and a glass board. Uh, we can burn a piece of paper so easily with a match stick or uh, with fire. But we can't burn a glass bottle with fire. So why this happens? Uh, because the glass is no, uh, not combustible substance but the piece of paper is combustible substance. In combustion, there is release of heat, light, sound and a uh, large amount of heat sometimes which is known as explosion. So the substances that we can burn is known as combustible substance and the substances we cannot burn is or burn is known as incombustible substance. So there's and there is some example of combustion that is burning of wood, coal, petrol or diesel to heat your home or run your car and natural gas or LPG gas to cook for your to cook uh, for on your stove top and for the production of energy in thermal power plants and production of heat energy in our body. Think about our body, how we are finding energy for different works. The various food we eat become stored in our stomach. After being digested, the nutrients are absorbed in the body. A huge amount of heat is produced by breaking these foods in the body cell. So if there is no combustion process, we won't get energy to do any work. And this uh, energy we are finding from the with help of respiration process where we take oxygen. The oxygen enters our blood cell and there is combustion reaction and we are finding energy for work. So if we do not eat for a long time, what happens? We, do not, we don't get energy and we cannot work as well. Another example of combustion is the burning of candle. Whenever we lit up, lit up a candle, the candle burns with the help of oxygen of air and it produces carbon dioxide and water. And some of the uh, some part of the candle melts down and some part of the candle burns so this is a good, very good example of combustion thanks everyone uh, I hope you have understood uh, best of you